One of the major technological innovations for fighter aircraft in World War I is the creation of a gun synchronizer system. That means you can mount a machine gun right in front of the pilot with a sight, and you can fight, and as you point the airplane, you can point your machine guns and hit your target. The problem with that is you have a spinning wood propeller in the way. And so the creation of a mechanical linkage set up to a cam on the propeller shaft as the propeller blade crosses in front of the two machine guns or one machine gun, it actually turns off the machine gun. And then as the propeller blade is passed, the machine guns are turned back on. Now as 1917 proceeds into 1918 and the entry of the United States into the war, you have American air service pilots coming into the Western Front and they're being equipped with French aircraft. There's not a frontline ready American fighter for the conflict. And this particular SPAD 13 that you see here that is in American air service markings, it was built by one of the manufacturers contracted to make SPADs. There were 8,400 SPADs made total. And the 22nd Aero Squadron was assigned this airplane. And a young pilot named Ray Brooks uh, painted the name of his fiance's college on there, Smith College. And he had, he had three previous airplanes, so it's Smith the fourth. And he goes into combat with this airplane. He scores one aerial kill in this particular SPAD 13. Uh, some other pilots in the same squadron shoot down at least five more. And so this is, uh, this SPAD 13 flew with the first generation of American combat pilots. Now, Ray Brooks flies, this, you know, he names this airplane after his fiance's school. And most people will name their airplane after their girlfriends themselves. But he actually made a conscious decision. He didn't want to have this airplane damaged, sending it into the, the field and having the mechanic saying, well, Ruthie's damaged, we got to fix her. He wanted to actually keep her out of, the, of, of, the, of that situation. And so he names it after a college. Smith IV is in its 1918 camouflage. What you also see along the fuselage and wings of Smith IV are these small black squares that have German crosses on them and those represent bullet holes that are shot through the fabric from combat. So those are small little indications of this being a combat airplane and, and surviving. The squares would have been applied by uh, ground mechanics in the field because there's no need to completely recover the airplane. And one of the uh, interesting advantages of a strut and wire braced fabric covered airplane is that if the bullet just goes through the fabric, it just passes through the other side. So all it needs to be is patched. And that's what the job of the mechanic would be to do is just to patch that to re you know, restore the integrity and then keep fighting. 